Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I just wanted to make a quick video showing you guys that we can place a whole bunch of junk objects and other objects as well on top of like containers and shelves and stuff. So let's get into it here. But before we do, big shout out to TNG guys, go give him a follow. This is where I learned this from. I will link his video in the description. Great follow 76 YouTuber everybody. Tell him West Tech sent you. Okay, so to accomplish this, we're going to need to get the chessboard off of the season. Yes, the chessboard display. And it is a display if you're looking for it in the workshop. You just scroll over to the, to the uh, display section and it will be right there. And you will be able to display a lot of different stuff on top of it. And there's a little trick to making it disappear. And another good thing about the chessboard is it's perfect for merging. And you can take a normal like stash box like this and make it look like this. You won't even be able to see the chessboard. And it's just like I said, it's perfect for merging. So let me explain this right here if you don't know how to merge. So basically to start what you want to do is just put as many chess boards on here for the junk or whatever that you want to put on top of them and we're gonna basically sink it into the container and we're gonna do that with a special object which i'm gonna show but just to show you all the different stuff you can put on here like i got a lunchbox on there i got some sugar bombs on there a hammer on there you can move them however you want just picture it as the chessboard not being there after you finish doing this so it's very easy i'm telling you this is so easy you'll be able to do this on your first try um, the hardest part might be getting the uh, the power object that you need, which I'm going to show. I can't think exactly what it's called, but it is under the advanced power connector plan, which you can get from a lot of different vendors, like the shopping mall vendor, vendor bot Wallace, um, Watoga vendor, or uh, Watoga vendor bot. You could just probably go to the White Springs Mall, and I'm sure one of them will have the advanced power connector um, plan, and you're going to need that to do this. So once you have all the objects placed where you want them and you're ready to sink the chessboard, you're going to need this object right here, the pressure plate. That's what I couldn't think of um, what it was named. And it falls under the advanced power connector plan, which like I said, you can get, you can get it from Graham too. Um, the Free States vendor, Modus Production Terminal, all these vendors have it. So once you have it, I think you can even get it from Defending Workshops. I could be wrong. That might be something else. Don't quote me on that. Just go to those vendors I told you. But anyway, once you have the pressure plate, it it's, it's weird how it works. If you put something on top of it and then stand on the pressure plate, it goes down just a little bit. And then if you pick it up and put it down again, it doesn't register that difference between the pressure plate and the... Um, the, the amount that it goes down, like the middle of the pressure plate. And the middle of the pressure plate is sticking out about the exact amount as a chessboard. So one or two will make it disappear perfect, as you're going to see here. It is a little tricky. You're going to have to just put it on the corner there. And you just pick it up and put it down, as I was showing there, everybody. It's as simple as that. You just got to get it on the corner. Make sure it's actually on the pressure plate. Like you could do this with a pool table. My friend suggested this. I thought it was such a great idea. We could actually put pool balls on the green pool table now. Just got to get the pool table on the edge there. Pick it up and put it down a couple times on the pressure plate. And then as you can see, all the chess boards will have disappeared. Make sure you don't highlight the chessboard when you're picking up and down or this will not work. Um, another awesome thing I noticed that this worked for is fast snack masks. You could have like the nicest display of fast snack masks. I don't think I'll be using the Thanksgiving um, uh, display case anymore. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be putting it on something like this. Um, you can see I put alcohol on here too. It looks great in your living room. Um, the possibilities are endless. I can't wait to see what people are going to do with this. This is awesome that we can place all this stuff. Like, if you want to place scorched body parts in your bedroom on a dresser, you can do that now. And like I said, you won't even see the chessboard. It's amazing. The thing I really liked about it, too, that really made me happy is kitchen items. And the good thing about the kitchen items, too, as well, once you um, lower them down into it, you can just click it right back in there. It was so easy to do. It was awesome. 
and then you can see you can have all this stuff sitting on your kitchen counter like it would be you know out in the wasteland awesome i can't wait to see some people's creations with this i really can't big shout out to tng awesome video today man guys go give him a subscription he deserves it trust me he makes awesome videos obviously or i wouldn't be able to bring this uh here uh, for you guys today and again thank you so much for watching everybody have a great day see you in the comments